What do you think? Pass or fail? The plywood that is on each side of a, this is, I believe, is a two by eight. Um, here's a piece of plywood here, and you can barely see there's a piece of plywood on both sides. That piece of plywood is liquid nailed and nailed and screwed to the two by eight structural member. But what do they call it when you do this? And in this case here, the plumber knew. The plumber knew that, hey, you know what? This is going to be an issue. I'm going to install this blank. Anthony Planty. A gusset. Gusseting. Very good. Or a gusset. These are plywood gussets on both sides. Why are we talking about this? Because it is the number one continuing education problem for all plumbers in the Commonwealth. They don't know where they're allowed to drill holes. They don't know how to drill holes. They have no idea about gusseting. And most plumbers that do have an idea about gusseting install their own gussets because they don't want to wait for a general contractor. These gussets on these pictures is close to being too short. They're almost too short. But when you see that a plumber has done this, you know at least he or she knows what's going on. The Building Board of Regulations and Standards has put pressure on the plumbing board to make sure that plumbers in the field are advised every continuing education cycle, which is basically six hours every year, not that it's the whole six hours, but a certain portion of that hours, those hours are devoted to trying to teach plumbers and gas fitters where they can drill and where they can cut and where they can notch and where you can. Plumbing inspectors also do continuing education. They're learning more and more about drilling. And if they walk on a project and you have inappropriately cut, notched, or drilled, they can fail the project. Or they can go, I can't pass this until the building inspector comes. And usually if an inspector makes that call, usually the building inspector is going to fail the job, which means you're taking the pipe out anyway. Some of incredibly dynamically dumb people out there when it comes to drilling, cutting, and notching. And there's really no excuse. So this was a pass. It was good. There was an acknowledgement that the person did what they had to do. And we'll talk about that stuff a little bit more.